Hey guys, welcome to Erica Cole's Soul Kitchen. So today we're continuing on with the summer food kickoff and I'm showing you guys how I make my strawberry pretzel salad. Okay, so here are some of the items that you will need. I will leave everything that's pictured here in the description box. First things first, I'm starting with Jello. So I have boil and water already started. So I'm just gonna start by following the directions on the package. That's, you know, what you should do. I don't know what type of uh, Jello you're gonna get, but I think they're all made the same, but I'm just following the directions per the package instructions. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe to this channel. So I'm gonna take my boil in water and I'm gonna add it into the Jello mix and I'm just gonna stir this up and set this aside. So here's my pretzels. I actually um, had two cups of pretzels in this bag and I'm just using my fingers um, to crush them individually. Um, so you could do however you like, but that's how I'm gonna crush them. And then I'm gonna melt the stick of butter and get that fully melted down, voila. <laughs> Add in two tablespoons of sugar, probably a little over two tablespoons of sugar and just mix that all up. Once your butter is melted, then you want to add in your pretzels. So I'm adding the extra step in my pretzel salad. It is a fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. I personally really love this flavor in my pretzel salad. Um, you can certainly skip the step if you do not want to have it in yours, but I definitely recommend it. It's very delicious. So here I'm laying down the crust and I actually didn't have enough pretzels, so I had to add more. So you'll probably need about two and a half cups of pretzels. Um, and I'm just putting that in the oven for about 10 minutes and I'm moving on to my cream cheese and whipped cream. So first I'm starting with an eight ounce package of cream cheese and then I'm going to add in about a third cup of sugar and I'm gonna use a hand mixer to blend this together. So I wanted to show you guys the hand mixer that I'm using. It's uh, by a brand called Dash. And I really, really, really love this um, hand mixer because it's like kind of flat. So I can put this in the drawer and I love that it has the attachments, um, you know, somewhere for me to put the attachments. So I will leave a link to where I got this from um, in the description box so that you guys can purchase if you like. I just really am in love with this. So I wanted to point it out. But now I'm just mixing the cream cheese and the sugar together until I get that into uh, a fluff. Um, or however you want to say that. <laughs> but I'm just blending these two together. Moving on, so now what you need to do is add in eight ounce uh, of Cool Whip Thaw um, and you're just gonna just put, you're gonna mix this in, but you're gonna like fold it. You're not gonna like just stir it up and mash it up. <laughs> you're just gonna like fold this into the cream cheese. So now I'm gonna cut into slices my package of strawberries. It's a 16 ounce package of strawberries. Um, you can cut the strawberries however you like. I just like to cut mine this way. So if you like to dice them, you could do that. If you wanna cut them like this, that's fine. So just cut them up. And like I said, it's one package of strawberries.
So now we're going back to the long lost jello we set aside earlier. So now I'm just going to add these strawberries that I just sliced into this jello. So now that I let the crust cool, I'm going to add uh, the Cool Whip and cream cheese mix um, evenly over top of this crust. And you have to be really careful because when I started to like spread this out, it was like lifting the crust. Um, so I, I had to be very tedious in doing this. And I also wanted to point out that I added some more cinnamon to this mix. I added about um, probably another one fourth, uh, fourth teaspoon of the cinnamon into this mix too. So once you have this evenly distributed throughout, you're going to add your jello and strawberry on top, and then you're going to put some plastic wrap on top and put this in the refrigerator for a couple hours. I prefer to leave it in for six hours just to make sure everything was firm. And after six hours, this is the end result. This is the finished product. It looks exactly how it's supposed to look. It looks delicious. It turned out perfect. Um, so I hope you guys like it. This dessert is perfect for the summertime because it's so refreshing. It's easy to make um, and it doesn't require you having the oven on very long. So it's a very perfect picnic dessert. So I'm just gonna cut a slice for you guys so you can see what it looks like on the inside. So let me give you guys a few views. This is the inside of the pan, and then I also wanted to take a picture of a slice of it so you can get the gist of how it turns out when it's done. Okay guys, so we're all done. So as always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. Follow me on social media, on Instagram at Ecole Soul Kitchen, and on Facebook. So guys, I will leave links to some of the items I used in this video. And again, if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and check out my other videos as well. Bye.